second honeymoon for somebody over there. And we're going to get the game started by asking the husband some questions. So, ladies, if you would, please go up to our soundproof room. Thank you. And while the ladies are leaving, I'd like to remind our husbands, I'll be asking you some five-point questions. What I want you to do is answer the questions. As you predict, your wife will answer the same question when she returns. And remember, if her answer matches your prediction, then you get five points. The one couple with the most points at the end of the show wins that second honeymoon I was telling you about. So here's our first question for five points. Gentlemen, will your wife say you think a stand-up comedian could have more of a field day cracking one-liners about her best friend, her last boyfriend, or her mother? Greg, stand-up comedian could have a more, of a, a more of a field day cracking jokes about her best friend, her last boyfriend, or her mother. Uh, I think I'm going to have to say your last boyfriend. Uh, he, he leaves himself wide open. I mean, really? you look at the guy, you just got to make fun of him, you know? Yeah, he's, he's just hideous. Yeah, hideous. Yeah. Ugly. Jim? I would say it would be her mother. Her mother? Yes. Yeah, she's just uh, a handful, that's for sure. Into this, into that. Really? She's yeah. a handful. All right, Chris? I'd have to say her last boyfriend. He was, uh, boyfriend. Chris. He, thank you. Yeah, he was uh, pretty much a joke. Her last boyfriend was yeah. a joke? Total joke. All right, Matt? I definitely have to say Eric's boyfriend also. Really? He was definitely the type that you can laugh at. You can laugh at this guy. Absolutely. Okay. Next question, gentlemen. At what time of day will your wife say you need to beg and plead with her the most if you want to get in a quickie? Be specific. What time of day would that be, Jim? Uh, that probably would be uh, right in the morning. Okay, Chris? Morning. In the morning. In the morning. Matt? All day. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, I'd have to say in the evening time. Greg? I'm going to have to go with the afternoon. Uh, we're definitely not morning people. We both love our sleep and uh, just hate to be interrupted. And the evening is pretty much a given. So I'd have to say, I uh, the afternoon. Next question, gentlemen. How will your wife say you would complete this sentence? This is you talking. My wife needs to learn that life is full of ups and downs. That's why I would like to uh, have her blank moved up and her what? Moved down. Chris, going to have her blank moved up. Hips moved up and her chest moved down. I guess. Be a um, not, this is not going to be a good one for me. No, <laughs> you're going to have a strange looking woman when you're done, boy. Matt, what are you going to move up? Um, her breasts moving up. Going uh, to have her boobs moved up and what moved, moved down? Up. Butt moved down. Butt moved down. Butt moved down. Butt moved down. Some of my favorite spots. What's that? <laughs> breasts in the butt. Is that right? That's one of my favorite places. <laughs> Greg, uh, I'm going to have to go with her, uh, her butt moved up. Butt up. And I'd say her hair moved down. Hair I really down. like long hair. Yeah. All right, Jim. Yeah, I would go with the breast. Uh, boobs moved up and the uh, butt moved down. Okay, thank you very much, gentlemen. We'll be right back to reunite these new ones. We're going to see how our husbands are predicted. What their wives will say right after these topics. Gentlemen, we recorded your predictions on cards and now have them flat on your lap. Remember, each time there's your prediction, that's just your wife's answer. You get five points. One couple with the most points at the end of the show wins an incredible second honeymoon. So, ladies, let's see how well you do with these questions. Tell me, does your husband think a stand-up comedian could have more of a field day cracking one-liners about your mother, your best friend, or your last boyfriend? Mickey? My last boyfriend. Your last boyfriend. Is he a funny guy? No. <laughs> oh, really? No, right. he was kind of a macho. I think I know everything. Oh, really? Okay. Well, Matt said we're going to have a great time cracking one-liners about your last boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What do you think, Jill? I definitely say my mother. Your mother? Sorry, Mom. Yeah. Okay, he said that your, your, no, it would be your last boyfriend. Yeah, what are you talking about your mom? I wouldn't say anything about your mom. She's an interest. She's an artist. Oh. Your boyfriend was a jerk. Yeah. Boyfriend was a jerk? I mean, you guys. Was your boyfriend a jerk, Joe? He wasn't so great. He wasn't. All right. Now, Cheryl, could a, one, a, a stand up comedian could have more of a field day cracking one liners about your mother, your best friend, or your last boyfriend? <laughs> my last boyfriend. Yeah, is that right? Definitely my last boyfriend. All right, Jim said so definitely it would be, card for me, please, uh, your mother. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Good. Good luck at the old family reunion. Yeah. Yeah. Jamie. Um, definitely like my last boyfriend. How Greg, come? Oh, Greg just, he called Greg one day and it was just not me. He good. called Greg? <laughs> what did he call it? Oh, on the phone and it was just like, I know she's over there. I know, so it has to be him. This after you were married? No. No. Oh, okay. Greg, 
predicted that we would uh, crack those jokes about Card Please. Your last boyfriend, sure. Okay. <laughs> Next question, ladies. At what time of day does your husband need to beg and plead with you the most if he wants to get in a quickie? Be specific. What time of day, Joe? In the morning. In the morning. He predicted you would say it would be in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Cheryl, what do you think? I'll say in the afternoon. In the afternoon, your husband said he'd have to beg in the morning. <laughs> He's over that morning. <laughs> He's right. He's right. He's not I know. Jamie. Um, I'm going to say in the morning because neither one of us are morning people. In the morning, he said he would have to beg in the afternoon. Come on. Exactly. Neither one of us are morning people. I mean, you know, we go for that extra half an hour of sleep every day. So I'd definitely be now. All right, Mickey? All day. <laughs> yeah, well, give me give me a, t a time of the day. Um, He'd have to beg night. all day, though, huh? The night, yeah. I'm sorry. The night. The night time. All right. He said he'd have to beg in the evening. That's all right. Sure. Yeah, sure. Sorry. Hey, well, what? Mickey, why does he have to beg? Why? Yeah. She's not a sexual person. <laughs> <laughs> but he's good. He's good. He's great. He's good at begging. Yeah. All right. Thanks for answering the question, man. I appreciate it. Next question, ladies. How did your husband complete this sentence? This is him talking. He said, my wife needs to learn that life is full of ups and downs. And that's why I would like to have her blank moved up and her what moved down. Cheryl, he'd like to have your blank moved up. <laughs> my attitude? Your attitude moved up and what moved down? Um, depression. Depression. All right. He said he would like to have your boobs moved up and your butt moved down. <laughs> Can you believe he said that? No. Yeah. Jamie, he wants to have what moved up? I definitely say my boobs moved up and Kai, I don't know, down my butt. Okay, he said it would be, no, he wants to move your butt up <laughs> and, and your hair down. <laughs> my butt up. Yeah. You're always complaining about your butt, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey, what, what does he want to move up? My butt moved up. Butt up? And probably because he wants me to cut off my hair. And what moved down then? Oh, my butt moved up and down would probably be, I guess, my boobs. Your boobs, okay. He said he would like to have your boobs up and your butt down. I love them both though, I swear. <laughs> okay, Jill. Um, I definitely go for the boobs up. Boobs up. Um. And I'm hoping he didn't say body part down, so my stress level down. Okay, you're not going to believe what he said. Oh, no. He said he wants to have your hips moved up and your chest moved down. <laughs> chest down? Yeah, chest down, hips what? up. You'd be pretty if you stood on your head, then everything would be in position. Wait, wait, wait. Anyway, we'll be right back to see how well the wives can predict what the husbands will say. I'd have to be the Chuck. Chuck. Woo. Who's Chuck? 
Yeah. The ex-boyfriend. Oh, Jack. Yeah, okay. Uh, Mickey? Brian. Brian? Brian. Who's Brian? He's, um, like someone I dated a few bit years back. Oh, okay. Jamie? Rob. Who's Rob? Uh, he's an ex-boyfriend. Not the one that called him, but a different one. A different one. Okay. <laughs> Cheryl? Would not want to call him Ron. Rob. Ron. Who's Ron? That's my ex-boyfriend. Really? Yes. Your husband's jealous? A little bit. A little bit, I can tell. Okay, next question, ladies. What would your husband say is the first thing you tried to change about him once you had him wrapped around your little finger? It's the first thing that you tried to change about him once you had him wrapped around your little finger. His stinky feet. Ah. He has the worst smelling feet, and he's got these plastic braces that he has to, orthopedic braces that he has to put in shoes so they make him sweat and they flake off and he leaves them all over the house. Uh, oh man, no wonder you're not a sexual person. Exactly, ah. thank you. Smelly old feet. Sure. Jamie, what's the one thing you tried to change about him once you had him wrapped around your little finger? I definitely changed the way he dresses. He dressed like a nerd before. He dressed, but you changed the way he dresses. Oh, he looks good now. Yeah, he does look good. Okay, good. Cheryl? The way he decorated. I mean, he has these weird statues, like dogs and cats and fish tanks everywhere. So I was kind of like, this is too bastard for me. we got to change some of this. Yeah. So the, the, the way, way the house The way the house looked. You decorated the house, okay. Yeah. Jill? He bites his nails, constantly bites his nails to, down to the nub. So now, I used to just slap his hand when he bites his nails, but yeah. now he pays me a dollar every time he bites his nails. He pays you a dollar? He pays me a dollar, and I'll probably buy him a manicure with it. There you go. Okay, 25 point bonus question. Ladies, what will your husband say? Runs your kitchen stove. Is it gas, electricity, or something else? Jamie? Gas. Gas. Cheryl? Gas. Gas. Jill? Electric. Electric. Mickey? Yes. Yes. Thank you, ladies. We'll be back now with the husband to compare at the Zombie Moon of the Game. Follow up to these messages. Welcome back to the Zombie Moon Game. All right, gentlemen, let's see how well your wives have predicted what you will say. Remember, these are the big ones. These are the 10 point questions. Some of you need 10 points. Let's, let's see what you can do with these. Gentlemen, which half of your bed does your wife think has the most complaints? Would that be your half or her half? What do you think, Chris? Her half. Her half has the most complaints. Absolutely. Why is that, Chris? Just because it's whether she's talking about work when we go to bed, or usually she's, I usually end up listening. I'm not a bad listener, but just that, you know, she's talking about what's what's wrong or headache. Okay. Or uh, Joe Predicti would say the half of the bed has the most complaints definitely is, Card. Her half. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about this, Jim? I would say my half. I Your half has the most complaints. Yeah, exactly. It's just tough getting to sleep at night, tossing and turning. Okay, she predicted you would say the half that has, it's, yes, it's his half. Sure, you got it. What do you think, Greg? I'm going to have to go with her half. Uh, you know, her pillow is definitely always uncomfortable. She's always swapping pillows with me. All right, I so think... her half has the most complaints. Oh, yeah, definitely. She predicted you would say that it is her half that has the most complaints. Good for you. Well, Matthew, it's got to be my half. Your half is the most complaints. I'm always complaining Just about everything. What do you complain about? Oh, gosh, no sex. Um, <laughs> my day at work. Yeah, no more everything. sex. Everything. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Mickey said that it's her half that has the complaints, not yours. Oh, it's spiraled out all over the place. Oh, don't give me that. <laughs> oh, you're Okay. Next question here. Let's try this one. Gentlemen, how did your wife complete this sentence? Now, this is her talking. She said, if I ever get caught up in the heat of passion and scream out a name other than my husband's, I hope it's not whose. Jim? Uh, I'd say Terry. Terry. Yeah. All right. She said she hopes she doesn't scream out she, Ron's name. Ron is oh, my yeah, boyfriend, exactly. and oh, he hears yeah. some horror stories about him. Who does? James, I always tell him, yeah, let me tell you about this clown. Oh, let me tell you this. Oh. Greg? I'd have to say Rob. Rob. This is another one of her ex-boyfriends. Actually, we talked about him earlier. Remember the clown? And the, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they, I'd have to say that that's him. Well, she said she hopes it's not Rob. Yes. <laughs> okay, Matt. She said, if I ever get caught up in the heat of passion here now. Andrew. Andrew. That's the ex-boyfriend. Really? Yes. That's a cool guy? Not particularly. <laughs> Handsome guy? Not particularly. Well built. Nothing to be me, though. <laughs> All right. She said 
she hopes that, it, that she doesn't scream out Brian's name. Brian. Who's Brian? Brian is who I was attracted to, not Andrew. Let's see your right. Sorry. <laughs> you know, twinkle in your eye when you said Brian. Uh, Matt's better. Matt's way better. Yeah. And why does Brian have to beg? I mean, Brian Matt. Brian doesn't have to beg. No. Why does Matt have or to beg? No, he does <laughs> Service. Steve was my best friend. He was Steve. All right. She says, uh, you know, she might yell out in the heat of passion. She might yell out whose name? Uh, Chuck's name. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. Why that did was, I yell out? I don't Steve? know. I was worried. I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't remember Chuck's name. He was that insignificant. <laughs> Thank you. Here's another question for ten points. Since we're having so much fun here, gentlemen, tell me what is the first thing your wife tried to change about you once she had you wrapped around her little finger, Greg? Wow, I, I'd have to say that uh, I, I'm, a, I'm away a lot, and I do a lot of traveling. Uh, she definitely makes me come home. I said that uh, before I used to go on trips and, and stay away for a couple of days. Now I'm definitely coming back home. You come back home, yeah. all right. Well, Jamie said the one thing she changed about you was the, for the way you dress. You dress like a nerd before. Uh, <laughs> A nerd. Oh, she come said. on. No. Oh, I guess that's right. She picked this out for me today, <laughs> there, so. It looks very nice. Thank you. Thank good. you. Yes, good taste for you. Uh, you like my outfit? Oh, you do? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Matt? I would definitely say the way I dress. The way you dress? The way I dress before, same t-shirt, same jeans, all the time. It didn't matter. Wow. Well, now, I'm just sexy man. man. Yeah. yeah, you are a sexy man. <laughs> All right, she said the one thing she changed about you, pal, is that your stinky feet. Oh, how, how can you play? change that? How can you change that? And you wonder why you have to beg? <laughs> Chris? I'd have to say, like, the whole laundry thing, because I usually was pretty casual about where I'd be throwing it. Okay, she said the one thing she had to change about you once you got you wrapped around your finger is the way you bite your nails. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, geez. that's a bad, that's a bad habit. Buck a bite. Okay. Okay, Jim? I would say my patience. Your patience. Yeah. Okay. Uh, she said the one thing she changed about you was it's the way you decorate. Your apartment looked like heck. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. kind of masculine. Okay, before we get to our 25 point bonus question, let's see where our winning couple will be going on their second honeymoon. It's a fabulous Caribbean cruise! You'll spend one week aboard a Costa cruise ship through a fleeting cruise line. Visit us on board to St. Thomas, Grand Cayman, Ocho Rios, and Costa's private island. Experience cruising Italian style from Costa Cruises. Back to you, Matt. Thank you, Kramer, very much. Okay, here we go, gang. This is our 25-point bonus question. This one's going to decide who goes on that fabulous second honeymoon to the Caribbean. Gentlemen, for 25 points, what runs your kitchen stove? Electricity, gas, or something else? Let's go first to couple number one. Matt and Mickey, you have 10. 25 would give you 35. If you get it right, you're going to be in first place, Matt. Yes. Yes. She said it is yes. Yeah. <laughs> Couple three. Jim and Cheryl Cole, you have 10. 25 gives you 35. Get it right and you're tied for the lead, James. Yes. Yes. She said it is yes. <laughs> sure. Couple two. Chris and Jill. 15, 25 gives you 40. Take over the lead for the correct answer. If you miss it, you go home in the last place. <laughs> Electric. Electric. You got it right, sure. All right, couple number four. Greg and Jimmy, you have 25. 25 gives you 50. You get it right, you're going to the Caribbean. I'm going to have to say yes. Yes. She said it's gas. You're on your way. All right. Greg and Jimmy Stewart, congratulations to you. Thanks to you and thanks to all of our brothers and welcome all. Thanks to you all. I'm Bob Eubanks and we'll see you next time.